2014, 3675, and dealer is trying to force me to place the motor. Right, are you making noise? Are you making ticket noise? Now, there's some aftermarket insurance company will send us an engine just because the car is ticking. Like, damn, we can fix it. It's just a rocker arm. It can be fixed. I guess that place been burnt. They let a couple of dealers fix it, and the car came back. They had to spend double. Uh, so they're just sending out engines now. Oh, my goodness, boy. Some of the wasted money going on. Um, curious, Rob. Why Why you need a motor, man? Why you need an engine? Let me Uh-oh. know, man. I'm not dogging out the dealer. Rob, what's wrong, Rob? Dealers are scammers. My 3.6 has gone through three oil pumps and haven't corrected the problem. You're going through three oil pumps? Why are you going through three oil pumps? Are you getting oil pressure codes? Are you losing oil pressure? This is a VVT design engine, guys. Uh, there's a lot of ways, a lot of reason one could be losing oil pressure. All right, now, <laughs> the monitor or the test oil pressure, one would simply hook up an oil pressure gauge. Now, three, the pinnacle star is kind of difficult or weird. You need a special tube to tie in to the oil filter. Hey, I don't have that tool. I want to order one just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I might have to order myself. The dealer won't buy one. But if that oil pressure is not up to par or is not holding, yes, you're going to have a lot of oil pressure type codes. I mean, but this is a VVT engine. And a lot of parts can affect oil pressure. Cam uh, phases can affect. Loose oil galley plugs can affect oil pressure. A lot of things can affect that. So if you constantly, somebody don't know what they're doing. And you said a dealership? They put on three oil pumps. <laughs> I, I'm not the one that we are loyal to each other, so I'm not going to dog out this particular dealership. All right, uh, but yeah, you obviously have other problems with my man Rob. You got to. Oh no, man! Uh, can't get a second opinion from the dealer. The dealer's supposed to be the last stop. I don't know. Go figure. You shouldn't, unless they just actual bad pumps. But Opar don't make pumps. Garbage pumps, okay? They may make a garbage water pump on a 5.7 Hemi, but other than that, the rest of their pumps are decent. But be nice, Rob. Don't talk about the dealer like that, man. Hey, man. All right, that's what's up, Dart. Three oil pumps by dealer and all fail. You got other problems, my man. It's just simple as that. Oil pumps don't just fail. Now, what's turning the oil pump is no more than the simple crankshaft. Crankshaft rotating. The oil pumps, oh, that's a dual-stage oil pump, right? So it has a solenoid built on it that will regulate the oil pressure at low rpm the pump is designed to increase the oil pressure to keep you know the valve train lubricated at higher rpm the pump may regulate that pressure down because you doesn't you do not need as much it's a dual stage oil pump how on earth is it failing your system is likely failing the vvt system likely not holding or maintaining that pressure. Okay, now this stuff is monitored by sensors. So if these sensors are reporting back loss of pressure, you're going to be misled into thinking your oil pump because it is the heart and soul is like a body. That is the heartbeat of the oiling system, which is the oil pump. You're going to be misled into believing your oil pump has failed again. When in fact, something totally on the outskirt of that may be your problem. Ah, it's highly unlikely, unlikely, guys, that all three of those oil pumps fail. You got some other issues, and I can almost guarantee you it's pertaining to VVT. So get into your dealer head or just have your dealer to switch mechanics to a more experienced mechanic. Not that the dealership is bad. It's the car. It's the person that your car was dispatched to. He might be a newbie, not understanding the history or how oil pumps work. You know, I'm not dogging anybody, but I'm just saying uh, a lot of people bad mouth the complete entire dealership when, in fact, one person, one how that saying go, one apple can ruin a, y'all know what I'm talking about. But let's change, see if they'll change mechanics. Dispatcher gave a hard car to a newbie mechanic. That could be the case, but highly unlikely, Rob. Sorry, man, you're going through that. Dealers now say I must replace the motor. Uh, again, based off what? Low oil pressure or simply because they had to put on three oil pumps? I don't know, but if 
you actually if they actually monitoring the oil pressure and i don't see how if they don't have the two they actually are monitoring the oil pressure and it's not delivering how is that even possible okay again the oil pump drives off a timing chain a little small timing chain that's being rotated by the crankshaft how is that possible i don't know man um uh, they're trying to just sell you i don't know i'm not into bad mouthing fellow dealers okay uh, mythical player jt good looking out put converter in 12 caravan with 93,000 miles on it and no more po so oh a po four oh seven four oil torque converter clutch solenoid guys do you know a lot of guys used to um uh, there's a there is a such a solenoid torque converter clutch solenoid it's in the valve body but it does absolutely nothing for this code so back in the day a lot of guys was taking a valve body apart going in after that solenoid they replaced that solenoid and i guess aftermarket where i'm from where i'm at where i'm employed at we replace valve bodies we don't really go into them clean them up overhaul them things you would do outside like they not we we barely mechanics anymore at the dealership man we do more replacing parts than we do you have to diagnose it but we're not really fixing a lot of stuff i haven't overhauled a train i don't know how long guys we're not really fixing a lot of stuff but my point is that code a lot of guys used to go in and replace the torque converter clutch solenoid and that does nothing for that code but because the code name is torque converter clutch solenoid circuit or something like that they think that's the problem all right but i have never or every time and i have done them quite a few every time i'm dealing with a code like that it's almost always of uh, the torque converter always not the torque converter clutch solenoid that's inside the valve body that a lot of the aftermarket guys are do i guess it's worth it if you're trying to try something because the part is inexpensive and if you mechanically inclined enough to remove your valve body and replace it and see if that fix it i guess it's worth it from that standpoint but i've never i argue with a guy a guy arguing me down about there is such a solenoid yes there is one but it does nothing for this code it, the, the problem See, they should reword re the way it's written in the manual. Okay, you can leave the name. It's it's named torque converter clutch solenoid. Some some some. Okay, there's nothing wrong with the name, but the diagnostic always lead to uh, uh, actual physically replacing the torque converter. But that's what's up, uh, mythical player. I'm glad you got it done, man. Glad it worked out for you. Two hours out of one point five hours. <laughs> Gravy money. Yes. They're not that bad at all. I ain't got to the point where a 62 TE I can yank out fairly quick.